What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I have the NVIDIA Jetson Nano and I wanted to test out some PSP emulation. Now this is definitely not without issues, at least getting this up and running. I'm getting black screen switching between games and going from windowed to full screen on this. And if I reboot the system right now, this version of PPSSPP will no longer work. Have to totally wipe it and recompile it. But once it's up and running, the games do work pretty well in here. Now I have had issues with Killzone going to a black screen and then rebooting the whole system. I couldn't test Midnight Club for some reason. I was able to test out four or five games here and get some screen capture of it. I've spent way too much time on this and I figured it was time to go ahead and get a video out. The Nano does support Vulkan 1.1, but for some reason with this version that I have compiled, I just can't get the option up there. So we're using OpenGL. I'm at 2x resolution and I have all the speed hacks on. If you're not familiar with the Jetson Nano, I have created a couple other videos. I will leave links in the description and full specs down below if you want to check those out. The FPS is in the top right hand corner and I'll also leave the name of the game on screen so you know what's playing at any given time. Keep in mind that the Nano is a newer board on the market and as soon as more developers get their hands on it, stuff's just going to start working a lot smoother, like the installation of PPSSPP. I will be back at the end of the video to let you know what I think, but overall for being such an early release, I think it's working pretty decently. and R button at the same time to crouch. Press the X button while crouching to do a high jump.
So overall, as you just saw, it works pretty decently. We did have some frame dips in most of those games, and I expected that for this early release. Getting it installed is a different story. Hopefully I can find out an easier way or find some way to compile it differently so it doesn't crash all the time and stop working when I reboot the system. That's the main issue here, but like I mentioned, it's really early for the Nano, and this could all be fixed later on. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Definitely check out those other videos in the description. I've tested out the Dolphin emulator with some GameCube games, and I've done my full review. So if you're interested in learning more about the Jetson Nano, take a look at those. And like always, thanks for watching.